Have you ever considered buying a car into the country for your daily personal use? Have you ever considered the number of taxes involved in getting the car cleared from the Tama port? Today we bring you a tax structure from the Ghana Revenue Authority, the custom division, to be precise, the number of taxes available for clearing a car at the port. Before we proceed into the tax structure available at the Tama port, here are some of the requirements and documents required for clearing out a car at the Tama port. First, you need a will bill or a title. The will bill has all the information needed for clearing the vehicle, which includes the model, the year, the vehicle number or the chassis number, and the maker or the brand. The clearing agent is someone who has the authority or has been given the authority to clear out a car at a thermal port. And individuals can be clearing agents after they have registered with the custom department of the Ghana Revenue Authority. So before an individual can clear a car from the port, he has to be registered with the Ghana Revenue Authority Custom Division as a, an agent, a clearing agent. And that person will have the authority to clear a vehicle at the port. There are some exemptions for president, diplomatic missions, and state institutions who import cars into the country for their um, daily or basic activities. Aside these um, exemptions, each and every one is entitled to pay duty at the port. In this presentation, we are using 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300 as an example, and we are assuming that the FOB, which is the fuel on board, the insurance and the freight, all sum up to $10,000, which is on the way bill. And we are also assuming that uh, the CD to the dollar is 9.78. So let's use these figures and let's get into the calculations of the taxes involved and let's break it down. The first tax to talk about is the import duty. And the import duty is subject to the engine capacity that you are bringing into the country. A car with engine capacity less than 1,500 cubic centimeters has a 5% rate. And a car of less than 2,500 engine capacity has an has a rate of 10% and anything above 2,500 has, an, has a rate of 20%. In our example, the conversion we had was 97,800 Ghana cities. And using a 10% rate from, as our import duty, because of the engine capacity, we are getting 9,780 Ghana cities as import duty. Our next tax is the import VAT. The import VAT is 12.5% on the um, custom value plus the processing fee. The custom value in this case is the same as the uh, $10,000 that we converted, which is the 97800 So we multiply by 12.5% 12 12 and then we are getting 12,225 Ghana cities. Next is the ECOWAS levy. The ECOWAS levy is 0.05% on the custom value, which in this case we have 489 Ghana cities. Next is the vehicle examination fee. The vehicle examination fee is 1% on the custom value, which in this case we had 978 Ghana cities. Our next item is the network charge. The network charge is 0.04% on the FOB, which is the free on board uh, on the way bill which in this case we had 391.2 Ghana cities. The next item is the Ghana Shippers Authority fee. This fee wasn't given a rate, but in my opinion, the custom division will tell you how much to pay for that. So we are moving on to the next item, which is the import um, NHIL. This import NHIL is 2.5% on the custom value and the import duty put together. So once you have the custom value, which is um, the 97,800, you have to add the import duty to it, which the import duty in this case, we have 9,780. So you, you sum them up, then you work 2.5% on the total that you had, which in this case, we are getting 2,689 
0.50 pesos. Next item is the network chart NHIL, which is 2.5% on the network chart. The network chart which we worked on was 391.2 Ghana cities. So you work 2.5% uh, on the network chart, which in this case, you are getting 9.78 as the network chart NHIS, NHIL. Sorry. The next item is the network chart VAT. This VAT is subject to the import VAT, but it is at a rate of 12.5%. So that one, unless you get to the port and you can determine it. So let's move on to the network chart COVID-19 health. As of today, I don't know why they still charge COVID-19 levies and all that. But here we have COVID-19 health, which is 1% on the network chart. The network chart figure that you worked, we worked on earlier, which is the 391.2 Ghana cities. We will have to work 1% network charge for COVID-19 health, which in this case we had three cities, 91 pesos. The next item is the GHS disinfection fee, which is also um, empty, like not empty as an empty, but there was no fee for it. There was no charge or rate given for us. So it means that the custom division will tell you how much to pay for that fee. And then we move, we move on to IDF fee. The IDF fee was also not given the rate, meaning that one too, you are going to be told how much to pay for. Next item is the special import levy, which is 2% on the custom value. 2% on the custom value. So in this case, we are having 1,956 Ghana cities. Moving on, we go to the Ghana Export and Import Bank levy, which is also 0.075% on the custom value. So in this case, we are also getting 733.50 pesos as the fee for the Ghana Export and Import Bank levy. Moving on, we go to the Ghana Education Trust Fund Import, which is the Get Fund levy. This is also 2.5% on the custom value and the import duty. So the custom value plus the import duty, you add them together and then you work on 2.5% on that. So in this case, we have 2,689.50 pesos as the get fund import duty. Moving on, we go to the network charge get fund levy, which is also 2.5% on the network charge. The network charge, in this case, we have 391.2 Ghana cities. So we work 2.5% on it and you are getting 9.78 Ghana cities, which is 9 cities, 78 pesos, sorry. We move on to the African Union levy, which is 0.02% on the custom value. So in this case, we are having 195 Ghana cities, 60 pesos as our fee. The next item is the COVID-19 health recovery levy which is also 1% on the custom value and import duty. So the custom value in this case was 97,800 and the import duty was 9,780. We add them together and you are getting a, a figure which we worked 1% on it. And now we are getting 1,075.8 Ghana cities. The last item on the VAT is the COVID-19 health recovery levy, which is 1% on the custom value and the import duty. And in this case, we had 1,075 Ghana cities, 80 pesos. So to sum all these amounts up, which excludes the, the ones that the GRA will give to you to pay. That's the processing fee, the Ghana Ship, Ship Pest Authority fee, the disinfection fee, the IDF fee and some other fees. We are giving you how much we have here for a rough estimate. So adding it up, you are getting a total of 118,801 Ghana cities, 857 pesos as the total figure for the car imported.
if you are planning on importing a car into the country, these are the taxes available for you. These are the taxes you should expect to pay at the Ghana Custom Division. But um, we wanted to talk about how these taxes affect the cost of cars or newer cars into the country. Imagine your car is new, you are buying the 2022 or 2023 model, it will cost you more in dollars. And once you, you do the conversion into cities, it's going to also cost you as much as the, the, the price of the car. More so, these are some of the reasons why different garages have different prices for their vehicles. It could be of the same model, the same year, but the price will never be the same. I am Mark Joe, and you are watching Clark as GH. See you in my next um, presentation, which will be on depreciation and total cost of ownership. We will give you um, information on the total cost of ownership of getting yourself a vehicle and the depreciation factor involved in getting yourself a vehicle. See you. Wait, I have something interesting to show you. When I come your way with this um, original designer seat belt, we have many in stock. We have Germany flag colors, as you can see. And then we also have an all red, which is very nice. I'll show you pictures of people installing this in your car. And then we also have the famous and ever wanted BMW M stripe colors. So if you need something like this, just contact Clarkers G on all our social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, everywhere. We'll leave our numbers in the description so that you can contact us to get yours. It goes for five pieces for 700 cities, but you can buy it through me and get a discount. So make sure you contact us now because it's limited. Thank you.